Um, and so like I'm feeling all the way to the world and I am wanting to like have a path thread me through that labyrinth. Um, it's very dark and very confusing. And I had a friend who, a uh, roommate actually, who I was going through kind of a dark time my junior year of college and um, he was more familiar with like problems in the church and uh, kind of a more expansive like set of Christian views and um, he was really good at like listening and asking profound questions and kind of teasing it out and you know uh, it ended up kind of causing too much of like where I he was in my world and I was in his world as like a as like a as like a pressing need and so like I'm really grateful to that guy like I I like feel very changed and grateful to him um, and like you know I, I just kind of did like embarrassing things where I would like send him these gushing letters or like accuse him of like dating my ex-girlfriend or something like that it was just like not a healthy dynamic in there and it sort of burned the friendship but um, nevertheless he really influenced me a lot to like listen deeper than like just the voices and so like it ended up to the point where I was having like violent reactions to like thoughts and like I felt like I had to bash myself against the wall I realized that I started to feel really and like know viscerally like how people pull on different perspectives like toward or against like some sort of order and that's like the surface level um, understanding and a lot of people try to deal with that tension by just saying like oh you should go toward the middle you know moderation kind of thing. but all of those views are all surface level and I, I really liked the Protestant like mindset of like oh yeah, like, it doesn't matter how many things you do or how much attention you pay to, like, outward things. Like, really what matters is, like, faith in Jesus. And that's, like, it's like saying, like, there's this inner inner thing that has to happen. It doesn't matter so much, like, what's going on the outside. Like, you need something on the inside or else all of it doesn't matter. And, like, that grants you a lot of freedom to be anywhere on the spectrum of, like, so many different things. You can be very free-spirited, very, very regulated, um, if you have any ethnicity, have any personal liking of music, art, where you like to go, what you like to eat, how you like to talk, how you like to think, you know, it's a much more holistic view of like, you need to be integrated in your path. You need to be integrated in your path. You need to be integrated in your path. And like who you become is different than what you expect. But like you gotta just like work through it and that like it's more process thing rather than like here is the way, the specific way. And I started to see that like Jesus being like, I am the way, the truth, and the life wasn't so much of like, you do things my way, or you, you just like take things a certain way. It was like, um, there's only so much that like a human understanding or a human process can get to. And like, you know, I still very much believe the Christian Orthodox like sense, but it's, I think there's an orthodoxy that's deeper than like what conservative orthodoxy says. There's like a reality um, that you might even, a lot of people say it's like mystic. It's like, it's just the real deal. The essence of the thing is like the thing that I believe in. Um, you know, Jesus being like, I am, I am one of the Father. Um, he's like, you know, he's equated himself to God in that moment. And treating God as a person, loving person, a protecting person, which in the time God probably had become a, sort of deistic God where it was like this other force that uh, was encouraging a good life and wanting to bless people but very far off and not so much of a sense of like presence and and Jesus's project was to transform like the Israeli people and like you know I I, I think that that's a non-exclusive thing because um, he in equating himself with kind of the Christ, which is like the spirit of God in action in the world, and like to change it, make it better and stuff. Like, it's not so much of like, uh, I am the the one and only specific surface level way. It's like he's saying like, I am the deeper way. Because the surface level people were very religious. We like to look back on the Pharisees for killing Jesus and the Jews for killing Jesus as like this, like, oh, they were just like stuck in rules and stuff. No, they were just living out human, human, human life and they just were doing that you know 
explicitly moral way as um, monotheists, as like Abrahamic monotheists, as Jews. Like, it doesn't matter that it was specifically Jewish people that killed Jesus. Like, they were just doing what anybody would do. Um, that when you see somebody outside of your box, they're a threat to you. And so Jesus was killed. He was like crucified because humans have a disconnect between their ideal world and their actual world. They don't know how to deal with that, and that's kind of the sin. Right? It's a separation from God. And so there's this distance, and um, um, you know, I think it's true that for people who want to live in a conventional world, that Jesus is the absolute only way. You really want to hold on to conventional reality, like. Jesus is about the best shot you're going to have to like real good transformation of philosophy. Um, you got to really put your foot on the gas pedal, or like expose, be exposed to like Christian essences, I guess, or like essential Christian teachings to like really grasp it. But like, um, like because Jesus is a human being and he's like claiming himself to be God and then like that he's like taking your sins or whatever you know it's like by projecting yourself onto a human you can like empathize with like kind of the face of everything like Jesus is the image of God so like if you see a human being representing the entire cosmos and then you see that like yourself is somehow interchanged with that like it allows you to have like an empathetic or an empathic like transformation where you're reconciled with everything. Like, it's functional. Like, it's worked for me. Like, um, it takes a, a subtle approach. It's not, um, it's not Christians are right. It's more like um, the story that Christianity is inspired by is right. The thing that happened. Um, like, Jesus says, like, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's not saying everything that I tell you is the way, the truth, and the life. It's saying that, like, literally, I, myself, who I am, like, not what I'm telling you, not how I'm acting, not what I'm doing, not all the healings I'm doing, none of that. Literally just me. And so when you are included in the Christian community, you know, Paul the Apostle talked about that as being, like, in the body of Christ. It's like, when you become in the body of Christ, when you, like, really attach to Jesus as a human being, he, like, you die sort of with him. You experience that. You take it on as a, your own reality. Not just like, oh, I'm going to, like, adopt this as, like, a view and opinion. It's like, no. Your reality actually becomes that. You step into a different world with a different set of rules and a different, like, effective, like, laws of physics. It's not so much, like, gravity changes, but it's, like, the potential understanding of, like, how the world works changes what's true changes. So when you step into that, you're connected to everybody that was ever connected to Jesus. And and Jesus like was dying for the sake of the world. Like he wasn't that's not just like people. That was like everything. And so like every tree that is burned down because of an arsonist or every animal that's made extinct, you know, he was dying for that. And so like it's not just like, oh let's have like a Jesus circle journey and like everybody like just like adore Jesus. It's more like um, for the sake of adoring Jesus, like that's what we do. It's like no, it's like um, it's kind of the difference between like porn and like real love. Like like a lot of worship music is just porn. It's just like like let's let's you know ejaculate phrases at God. Um, you don't really need to continually be aroused or um, responding to something that you love. Like, love is something that's there whether it's explicit or not. So like, um, I think when you when you accept Jesus like as your Lord and Savior, it's not so much like you accept it, it's more like you, you actually are taken into that love and it's not something so much that you can really identify it's here or there. Maybe you can, but like, that process is um, deeply transformative. Hold on, I gotta pause to start the next video.